Okay, this is Bo with the Z Sports Lounge. And we actually did something really cool today. We're at Dragon Meat right here. And we're gonna learn about something I think is all passionless guys, how to make some beer. We got Eric, he's the head brewmaster, and that's actually a category, which I found very impressive because I thought the brewmaster was sort of you sitting at home clicking with your remote and brewmastering with the beer. So he's gonna let us know a little bit about what's involved in this process. We're actually set up in the storage room, and behind us, you can see the vats. It's kind of incredible there. Eric, thanks for joining the show. No problem, my pleasure. Wonderful. Let's we'll a little bit about what's going on here behind us. Well, these are fermenters. Uh, this is towards the end of the process of making beer. Making beer, the process involves taking grain, uh, cooking it and mashing it with water. You're trying to create food for yeast so that the yeast can create alcohol and carbon dioxide. So you mash the grain and then you separate the grain out of the sugar water and uh, you boil the sugar water and add hops because you need some amount of bitterness to balance out the sweetness because um, the yeast does not eat all the sugar that you're making. So you're making a big sugar soup, a colored sugar soup. You cool it down, you add the yeast, the yeast goes to work on its own and creates the alcohol. You know. The only nice thing he told me about here, guys, is that this is this far from being whiskey. Now, being a whiskey drinker, I kind of like that because this far about that. Tell us the difference between beer and whiskey. The difference between beer and whiskey is with whiskey, you are you are making beer, but you do not add hops. You don't need a bittering agent at all. So you're going through the beer process without the hops, and then you distill off the alcohol once the fermentation is over with. Guys, I dig that pretty much here, like this. Now, what kind of, how many varieties of beer do you have work cooking in here right now? We have uh, 51 different recipes. We try and keep 35 to 45 different beers on tap at all times, which is a tall order. Uh, what enables us to do that is having a small system. Our brew house is very small. Each batch is three barrels, which is six kegs. So a lot of breweries in the state are much bigger than us. But that's the only way you can have the variety. Now you distribute this all over Michigan. All over the state of and Michigan. And you will ship over to, let's say, California says, could you send us some barrels? You'd be willing to help yeah, those guys out too. Yeah, they send somebody out here to pick it up, we'll send it out there. So. Air freighted, air freight drop. Yeah. UPS, hey, guys, California, you knuckleheads, you can drop freight that stuff. That's pretty impressive out there. So typically, how much does a keg cost? Like, how much? A uh, keg of beer from us is uh, right around 100 bucks. It's a high cost item because it's a very involved process and we're doing it on such a small scale. It's kind of interesting here because I'm looking in the storeroom right now and I see ingredients for like baking a cake and it's for baking beer. Now, a lot of people are worried about recycling and you know global warming. What these guys do is kind of cool with the seeds that they have. What do you do with the seeds after it's fermented? You're when, it. when we're done with the grain, in the brewing process, we take the grain that's left behind, just like coffee grounds are left behind, and a farmer picks it up and feeds his cattle. So let's see, if I was a cow, cattle, getting beer, beer seeds, I mean, I'm sure there's a, still a flavor in those. Now typically, how does the alcohol content work with, with beer? Because I understand it's, 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 it's made. It's pretty simple. The more fermentables or the more grain, the more sugar you give yeast to eat, the more alcohol it's going to kick out. So to make a light beer, you use less grain, you have less sugar, and then reverse process for a real heavy beer, you use a lot of grain, give it a lot to eat, and it creates a lot of alcohol. Now I knew there was a time ago um, for uh, alcohol in the, state, in the United States had to be at a certain level. Right. The place laws have been sort of very flexible now. I know North Carolina, it's basically whatever alcohol content you want now. Yeah. They've freed it up. So what, yeah. so what is the legal limit here in, in Michigan now? Did they change it finally? Michigan, it's pretty pretty open-ended. For beer, you can go as high as yeast will take it. And for beer, that's around 13%. That's a lot of alcohol. You can't go too much higher than that without having to distill. Now, some, like you said, some states have regulations. For example, I know for sure in Utah, there's a regulation you can only go up to like 3.5%. So. This is like Gatorade with lots of salt. Yeah. So that's, you know, it's pretty much like you let Gatorade sit in the corner, it's going to ferment. Now, what are some of the other things that people don't know about fermenting process? I remember we were at a family reunion and they had a very old bo bottle of uh, Sprite in one of the giant containers. It actually started fermenting and making alcohol and they caught it after they gave it to a bunch of kids and they couldn't figure out why the kids were punch drunk. Tell us about the alcohol process. How well, does it if happen? You, if you don't have a preservative or some kind of an anti-ferment agent, which is added in just about every soda and juice that's sold commercially, there's yeast in the air, and it will ferment 
whatever sugar mixture you have. Oh, 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 oh. So, like for example, if you want to make a hard cider, a lot of times it's hard to just go to the grocery store and buy cider and ferment it because it's got anti-fermenting agents in it. So you got to go direct to the cider mill and get it from them. But so when they see them squish those apples, you come home and take those apples and you can make... Now what is that going to give you if you ferment cider? I mean, I. Well, I've had vinegar before from cider, maybe sick as a dog, so... Yeah, you don't want to make that, but uh, basically if you have the juice uh, and you have the yeast, like a wine yeast or a champagne yeast to add to it, you'll get a hard cider. It'll be like an apple juice with a kick, you know, like uh, there's a few commercial ciders like Hornsby's, yeah. something like that. You can produce something similar to that. Now, what kind of color beer do you have here? You've got 51 recipes that range from... You know, blonde to, to Guinness. Yeah, I'm assuming Guinness is established. Every for color. range of the spectrum from you know light golden straw color to just black, pitch black, you know. Now what is your favorite beer that you that you speak here that you just like? I like uh, Eric the Red, which is named after myself. That's our <laughs> amber ale, you know, and that's probably one of our biggest sellers. I also like our brown ale and our cream ale. Now tell us about the name of the place, Dragon Meat. It's kind of, it sounds like meeting is part of the process of giving the alcohol. That's what it sounds like to well, me. The, the mead refers to uh, honey wine. We do actually make mead here. We ferment honey in water uh, and you get a one. said, son, it's only scratch. Big boys don't worry about things like that. And he smiled. Don't cry. Hold your head up. Hold back the tears. This pain won't last. This cloud clear. I know someday you'll understand what it is to be a man. Dry your eyes. Don't cry. Fumbled the ball and lost his queen Daddy said, son, it's only a game Did your best, now don't be ashamed And he sighed, don't cry Hold your head up, hold back the tears This pain won't last, it's cloud clear I know someday you'll understand What it is to be a man Dry your eyes, don't cry Someday you'll understand 